Now earlier we saw a similar illustration comparing a pyramid and a prism. So now we're going to compare a cone to that of a cylinder. So assuming that these two are of the same height, um, this illustration is saying that if a cone is filled with sand and poured into the cylinder, it will also take three cones to fill the cylinder. So we can use this information to actually derive a formula for the volume of a cone. Now if you would like to see another simulation of how the volume of a cone compares to that of a cylinder, now go ahead and click on the simulation and you can see um, how their volumes are related as you adjust the height of the two solids. Um, in general, the volume of a cone is given by um, V is equal to one-third times the base area and height. So where did this formula um, come from? Well, you know that uh, the base of a cone is a circle. So if you replace the capital B by another expression that gives you the area of the circle, that's actually pi r squared h. Um, in, in my screencasts though, you will not, you know, hear me use the formula one third pi r squared h because I want us to stick to that formula for volume, which is one third, um, capital B times h because that can be used for whatever type of solid. Um, you know, it could be for prism, it could be for cylinder, if it's for a pyramid and a cone, then you just put that one third in front of the capital B and the H. So it's kind of easier to memorize when there's one formula that you understand um, that works for all. So let's try to illustrate how to use the formula. We know that the volume of a cone is one third base area times the cone's height. So the base is the circle, right? This is the base. And to find the area of a circle, it's pi r squared. So if we substitute um, the radius and square it, we are going to have here one-third. Um, the base area is pi times 2.2 to the second power. And then the height of the cone is 4.5 centimeters. So let's do that in our calculator and round the, um, round the answer off to the nearest tenths. So if you square 2.2 and then multiply it to 3.14 and multiply it by 4.5 and then altogether divide by 3, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but my answer to the nearest tenths is 22.8 cubic centimeters. So the volume of the cone is 22.8 um, cubic centimeters. So again, we have B is equal to one third base area times height. The base area we have here will be pi and then seven squared. So that's 49 pi multiplied by the height of the cone. So this would be um, 49 times um, 3.14 times 13, and then we have to divide those by 3. So let's divide the answer here by 3. And our answer will be 666.7 um, cubic inches. Um, and the last one we have V is equal to 1 third base area times height. So that's 1 third. For the capital B, you have pi times 5 squared, so that's 25 pi um, times the height, but we don't know what the height is. However, if you see this right triangle here, let me erase this one. Um, to find the height of the cone, we can actually use um, Pythagorean theorem to find h. So we have um, h squared plus 5 squared is equal to 8 squared. So this will become um, 64 take away 25. So h is square root of 39. Right? Now I'm going to keep it in radical form. 
And then I'll round up in the final answer. So this is one third times 25 pi times the square root of 39. So we have 25 times 3.14. And then we multiply it by the radical of 39. And then we divide the answer by 3. So verify my answer, but I got 163.4. Um, see if I can do this. So that's the volume of that form. Now let's use what we learned about similar solids again to um, use scale factors to find the missing volume. So we know that the volume of cone B divided by the volume of cone A is actually the cube of the scale factors. So let's get the radius of cone B over the radius of cone A. So volume of cone B divided by 15 pi is equal to the radius of cone B is 9, um, while the radius of cone A is 3. So um, B sub B over 15 pi is equal to, we have to keep this by the way, so 9 divided by 3 is just 3, and then 3 cubed is 27. So to find the volume of cone B, we multiply 27 by 15 pi. So if you round that off to the nearest tenths, the answer must be 1,271.7. Um, Cubic feet. Okay.